Our next guest is Brian Thomas, who I've met before, and we asked you back because you have a fascinating, fascinating story to talk about engine uh, emissions re reduction. It's kind of important right now. Everybody's concerned about it. Global warming, uh, Obama's going to meetings all over the world. He should have took one of these with them, huh? Well, we hope in the very new future that he will be. Yeah, and this is, this is actually the device, right? Yes, it is. Get a close up on it, and you install this on almost any car. Yes, uh, our technology is installed on the PCV system on the cars, and that stands for positive crankcase ventilation. Okay. And any car that has an external PCV system, that's where this would install. And easy to install. In most applications, okay. it is. And you know, if anyone did have interest, what we do is we have them call us. We look up the year, make, and model, uh -huh. and the mileage, and we see. And you know, some cars have their PV, PCV system buried under the intake manifold. So there's not a lot, you know, there's not a lot of room and it could take three hours to take an intake manifold. Maybe too expensive there, but many, many, many cars with this simple device, you put it on and it would actually reduce emissions yes. a little bit or? Well, it depends again on the year, make and model. Mm -hmm. If it's new, if it's old. Uh, if a car is brand new, it's going to keep that engine cleaner. Cleaner. Because, oh, you mean it'll be better for your engine? Yes, because as you know, when, we, when you get the new car, it's got a lot of power. Yeah. And after a couple of years, it gets it, slowed down, yeah. carbon gets built up, the fuel injectors get built up. We've noticed in our testing that when this is installed from the beginning with a new car, mm -hmm. it will keep the engine cleaner, it will keep the oil cleaner. So this is a, like a three tier benefit to use. Why would a per person have a motivation to do this? Because they care about the environment, or would it get them better gas mileage? All of the above. You can always go greener. Okay. And we uh, we had a very interesting thing at an expo. We had the Clarkson University Clean SAE snowmobile team come to mm -hmm. us, and they, these guys had won the, the contest. But they're building years. these snowmobiles to be clean, to C cleaner. Yeah, a university kind of competition yes. or something. And they said, you know, we've won several times. We've kind of hit a bit of a brick wall. We don't know what else to do to make this cleaner. And we said, okay. How about you try our emissions reducer? Mm -hmm. We just want to see what happens. We're not going to be involved with the testing. We just want to see what goes on. And they went into the, their uh, situation there, and they came out with the highest miles per gallon wow. out of any snowmobile. So this actually can help improve miles per gallon. Yes. Maybe horsepower, but definitely it will reduce emissions. Yes, that's and that's that, and that's we're, it's sold as an emissions reducer with a side benefit in any any fleet that's looking to maximize your mileage. Right. We would highly recommend it. Now, um, is this for cars from the 70s, 80s, 90s, or more the 2000s? Uh, it could be used on just about anything. Again, we with the newer ones, uh, we we prefer to go on the closed loop systems that have the PCV systems. Uh, we put it on classics. Uh, you may know uh, the current administration just recently approved limited use of, of classic cars being reissued. Mm -hmm. But here's the caveat. They have to, emit, have to meet the new emission standards. The current emi emi emission standards. And, and that's where this comes what in. What about it, somebody going for a smog check? Would this help? Yes, absolutely. If, if you've gone through everything that you can do and you cannot pass a smog check, then this device is going to be the thing that can help you get through yeah. it. And, you know, it, it, on most cars, it's about an hour. On some cars, does it take a little bit more? Um, we have the bigger one here. And now this would obviously go on a, a tractor trailer. That's a big boy. Big rig. Mm -hmm. And the bigger they are, the more expensive they are. Yeah. And this is a... This starts at about fifteen hundred dollars. This one here starts at about five hundred. Mm -hmm. And depending on how much you drive will depend on the ROI, return on investment. Okay. Okay, so uh, what if, well, you have a little video on installing it? Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, what you'll see here is an installation, believe it or not, on our CEO's car. Okay. Most law enforcement have, uh, they kind of try to get rid of their cars about 100,000 miles. It's hard use. Well, our CEO, he doesn't drive any of those high end sports cars, he actually drives a law enforcement fleet car because it's old, used by cab fleets. Old police car, yeah. And it's used and loved by law enforcement. Yeah. So when he installed this, he ended up getting better mileage and lower emissions, and he racked up, it had 100,000 when he got it, and he racked up over 250,000 miles wow. on the car. Oh my God. So, you know. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at this installation video. Hi, my name is Phil. This here's Mark. We uh, picked a relatively easy install here today. Uh, it's a 4.6 uh, liter engine on this Ford. So that's gonna be the smart emissions reducer. Uh, it's gonna be the red unit. 
Um, what we're going to do is we're going to hook up the five gas analyzer, Mark, if you'll do that. And uh, once the engine gets up to operating temperature, we'll take a reading, and then that'll be our baseline uh, for the install. Okay, now that our engine is up to operating temperature, we're going to be able to um, push print here and uh, create the data necessary for our baseline. And we're ready to do our install. We're going to take the crankcase ventilation system that already exists in your car, and we're going to cut into that and add the smart device. So now that we've got the crankcase ventilation system cut open, um, we've installed a right angle adapter on the unit for this application, and we're going to install the unit uh, as close to the valve cover as possible. And then, of course, it goes on to the throttle body. Now, we've picked a relatively easy install here today for the purpose of filming, but most of the time you're going to want to allow about an hour to do an install. Okay, now that we've done uh, a basic install, we're going to check for leaks. Uh, you can use uh, brake clean and listen for the uh, variation in the motor. If there's a leak, it'll be detected. So now that we've finished up our basic install here, we're going to button up everything under the hood, go out and take the car for a drive, make sure everything's fine before we release it to the customer. And uh, if you want more information, you can visit us at www.smartafs.com or www.smartemissionsreducer.com. Remember, go green with the same machine. Go green with the same machine. You that don't have to switch motto. cars to get better uh, emission results or mileage. You could just switch uh, with one of these devices. Now, he said it allow for an hour to do it. Right. And most cars, it's about an hour. And uh, for big rig trucks, sometimes up to three hours. Mm -hmm. And again, we do make custom units. If you know someone who's in the cruise ship industry, mm. there are you know, new regulations there. We make custom applications for that. We make small units for lawnmowers mm -hmm. and even uh, snowmobiles. So you could get one on your, your lawnmower at your house or it, you know, it, like it, that? We'd have to look at it and to make okay. sure, but uh, we do have the, the sizes for yeah. that. And it's even been used on an ATV. Yeah. I mean, a lot of individuals are really trying to make an effort not demanded by the government or being forced into it. They just really want to contribute to improving the earth and the environment and, and uh, cutting back on the greenhouse gases or whatever. So there is a way, Smart Emissions Reducer. Now, how do they reach you? I, they gave the website. Is that what mm -hmm. they where sure. they should start? Sure. Yeah, you can go to smartemissionsreducer.com, and uh, you can call our 1-800 number. That'll be 1-800-EESTEAM. That's 1-800-EESTEAM. And uh, you can talk to our secretary, Roseanne. If you have specific questions, we actually do have someone on our staff that has been recognized by the court system of the United States as a, as a fuel economy expert. So he'll be a great one to talk to. You'd ask for Mr. Holler and uh, make an appointment with him, and he could let you know uh, compatibility and so forth. Now, uh, so your own mechanic would put it on? Uh, no, believe it or not, we have certified installers of this. Uh, okay. In the early days of the company, they did let people do it. Okay. But, uh, you know, there's some shade treated mechanics out there, and there's some expert mechanics, and we just wanted to have consistency right. with the product. So we come to you. We're, we're a mobile wow, system. Wow, you come out and do yes, it right wow. Yes, with appointment only, of course. Well, we, maybe if you're going to be at work all day and you don't have time to take it to the garage, you guys would come right out, and I wouldn't miss a moment of work. I wouldn't have to drive and park and get a ride back to work and stuff like that. You'd do it right there. Absolutely. And if you're a fleet, you really can't afford to have too many of those right. cars and trucks right. down, so we go right to their shop. We install them there. You know, Everyone yeah. supervises what we're doing, and we make sure everything's good, and you go out on the road, test it, and come back. And the fleet is where they can really save money. You've got 20 or 30 or 50 or 100 cars. Right. Every cent really counts. Right. Again, if you're a mom and pop, you know, would the ROI take a little while? Yes, we understand that. But if you're a big fleet, the bigger the fleet, the more you have in your fleet, the more potential savings, and then you're lowering your carbon footprint, you know, is going to be huge if you have a big fleet. All right, Brian Thomas with Emissions Reducer. Anything we, you want to add before we go? Uh, just keep in mind that this technology is here. It's now. It's not theory. It is real, and it's ready to be, be served here in the Central Valley. And we can help you get off of the worst air quality in the nation. Just give us a call and we'll help you. Brian Thomas, Emissions Reducer. We'll be back with more Mike and Athena Live right after this.